And back at the book segment tonight, food stamps and some who are abusing them. Year 2000, the Fed spent a little more than $17 billion on providing food stamps for poor Americans. Last year, that number had risen to almost $80 billion, a colossal jump. Under President Obama, the cost of food stamps has more than doubled for the taxpayer. A few months ago, Fox News correspondent John Roberts profiled a man named Jason Greenslate. 29-year-old, lives in Los Angeles, a member of a band, sometimes buys lobster with the monthly food stamps he receives. He does not have a straight job. So while we were out in L.A. last week, we sent Jesse Waters to track down this guy. He's in San Diego to see how the self-described surfer dude is doing. All right, Jay, so what's on the agenda here? I'm going to go to the shop, um, check out some girls. Got the Escalade, going to the strip club on food stamps, free gear. What's this look like to most people? It looks like a good time, man. You can portray it however you want, but you know, when it comes down to things like, we're all about just playing music. Playing your music is a job. Yes. That's your job. It's not a hobby? No, that's my job. That's, that's my goal. I mean, I definitely want money to start flowing in. And... How do you think you're contributing to the country right now? I bring smiles to a lot of people with my music, you know? Do you understand why people may not agree with your situation? Just because my job's a little cooler than your job and, and people are a little bit more jealous than anything. And I think the food stamps give me an opportunity to focus more on a career. You can't really survive on a minimum wage job. I mean, these places are expensive. A lot of people do survive on minimum wage. Are you still eating lobster with the food stamps? Uh, if it's on sale, I'll eat whatever's on sale. Now, you're an able-bodied guy, healthy, you can work. Do you think you're gaming the system? No, why would I be gaming the system? I'm, I fit in the qualifications. Just because you can do something doesn't always mean you should do something. Now, some people say, listen, you're a mooch. Obviously, they don't know me because Anybody that knows me, I mean, I'll give you the shirt off my back. Do you know how much debt America is in right now? No. $17 trillion. Do you think you taking food stamps is contributing to that debt? Because it is. Wait, do, I, do I have to apologize for the way the system's set up? I don't feel I need to apologize for it. It's just the way you're wording it kind of seems like, like I'm getting kind of like the, the ruler on the... The, the ruler on the hand, you know? How much money do you expect to make in your music career? Millions and millions of dollars, man. You serious? Yeah, of course, or I wouldn't be doing it. Next year, are you gonna be on food stamps? I sure hope not, man. If everything's planned out right, I should be off food stamps in a month. How proud to be an American are you? Very proud. Why? Well, look at all the great things that I'm, I'm getting help when I need it. Come to one of our shows, man. Bill, you can come too. <laughs> All right, and a bit of history now. This guy, uh, I called him a parasite. Yes, Was he did. aware of that? that yes, I called him? Yeah, and okay. then he said, kiss my something. Right, but even though I, that I did call him parasite, he still did the interview with you. Yes, I because, don't know why. But well, here's why. He wants to get publicity. And he did get publicity. For his dopey band. Rat right? life, two T's, okay, rat life. Great. Now, uh, when I did call him parasite, you remember that uh, MSNBC per people right. said I called everybody on right. food stamps a parasite. All right. I believe that there are some people like this but not everybody. Do no. You no, I mean, listen, you don't have to do anything to get food stamps in California. You show up, prove that you live in San Diego, have your birth certificate, and that's it. That's it. That is it. And so you can get a pin and then sell that EBT card to anybody you want. And it's how much right does he fraud. get a month? He gets $190 a month. Uh -huh. It used to be 200 so he was complaining that it's complaining. $10 less. Uh, you, but he can't buy cigarettes with that. No, he, he to... can't buy cigarettes no. with that, but he does like to drink, so he does drink. Was he drinking booze out of that big cup, <laughs> or is that the big gulp? I'm, I'm going to let you assume there was alcohol in that cup. Tell me whether there was or not. I what don't want to blow up his spot, but he did pour booze in the cup before okay. the interview. So this guy, I mean, come on. 
Yes. Know, he's gaming the system, but he doesn't see it that way. Of course he does. He says he's trying to get off food stamps and focus on no, the music. No, 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 no. He's, as Nancy Pelosi said, following his passion. Right. <laughs> and of right. course, we should pay for that. Right. Now, if everybody did that, the country would implode. We see it as an entrepreneurial bill, a bill that says to someone, if you want to be creative and be a musician or whatever, you can leave your work, focus on your talent, your skill, your passion, your aspirations, because you will have health care. You don't have to be job locked. 